Uh, so for our design project, we build an eye tracking device that is able to uh, track the location of the person's gaze based uh, on the biopotentials which we measure around the eyes. In our demonstration right now, David is actually moving the mouse cursor horizontally. And David, if you can just demonstrate to move the cursor where my finger is. And David is doing that with his eyes, he's not touching the trackpad. This is all by measuring the potentials around the eyes. Um, so a wireless sensor node is essentially a data gathering device that one can deploy in the outdoors and it is used to collect environmental characteristics. Here we're getting solar energy into the solar panels. This gets sent into the supercapacitor, right? So again we see the supercapacitor is charging up and now because we have such excess amounts of current we're actually charging up the battery. So here we're sending negative 15 milliamps into the battery right, so that we can store it for use later on during nighttime or a cloudy day or a rainy day or when have you. So what we did is that we implemented uh, on an FPGA a three-phase uh, sequence detector synchronization system uh, that was developed here at University of Toronto in the Power Systems Lab and it's the first time we've implemented it. Uh, we've designed our system on an FPGA so that it is actually uh, frequency adaptive and we can operate it at a very wide range of frequencies not only just 60 Hertz but also uh, our system is designed to operate from 40 Hertz to 2 kilohertz, which is actually groundbreaking. So enemies will move along the path that we, we chose, and then we will place towers on these green markers. What we came up with was a sort of grid system where we convert um, 3D coordinates recognized uh, by, the, by the tablet into, and place them into this 2D grid. So it uses these blue markers as reference points, so we know exactly where they are. And then it sort of calculates the uh, positions of the towers and the enemies relative to these blue markers. Uh, the project goal of Connection is to utilize the motion sensing technology of the Microsoft Connect to provide a user with an intuitive user interface so that he may move a robotic arm in possibly dangerous environments such as a bomb diffuser out in the battlefield or maybe a window washer in the high rise. On the screen, you can see that the skeleton is being tracked. Uh, so, and you can also see the video stream. And uh, our program tracks synthetic joints on his skeleton and tries to detect a gesture that he's doing. Right now, he's he's uh, he's aiming. He does that by moving his left arm, and uh, the mouse will move on the screen. The idea is to be able to charge the battery using solar panel. Um, and the energy grid. Our system gives 5 volt output, which is 5 volt USB out out output that is used to charge small electronic devices, as you can see. Um, this is an MP3 player. We have a buck converter, basically discharges the battery from 30 volts to 12 volts. Our main converter is the 120 volt in DC to AC converter. And you can see it's turning on. It doesn't have a battery at the back. It's just all the power is coming from the battery and we're producing 120 volt AC. The camera is just a regular HD camera which has on top of it a, uh, a reflector, a 360 degree reflector. The video we take will look like this. So as you can see it's circular video. Then what we do is we, do, we, have, we develop some software to unwrap this video, video process it, which makes it a strip. And then what we do is then we use, we can ask the user to download that version and then use the eyewear to kind of see, have an immersive experience of 360 degree uh, immersive experience. Well, well basically what we have is we integrate an uh, obstacle module with an Android phone that ha that's running at GPS. So we basically took a video, a video here. We walk around, we walk around with the GPS and the obstacle sensor. Go close by the elevator and it says an elevator detected in front. You are right next to a wall, it will say there is a wall to, the, to your right. So our toy blocks basically are, there's a master block and there are three slave blocks. The blocks when, uh, the master block displays an image and the slave blocks have letters associated to that image. Once you put them in the right order, the master block plays a sound confirming you've won the game. And so it displaces different, uh, different letters and different words so the child can learn through an interactive process.